The automotive projection infotainment I.O., so-called app I.O., concept is a communication framework. It allows the non-residing operating system, such as Android, to be shown at and to be controlled from the default Linux infotainment systems like head units, digital cockpits, or other HMIs. The app I.O. provides the following features. Audio and video projection, voice and touch events capturing, GPS capturing, camera capturing, automotive sensors data capturing, internet sharing from HMI to Android. In other words, APO provides add-on functionality that original equipment manufacturer can use to extend the functionality of their Linux infotainment systems with the new Android features. That means that user has all Android infotainment features available one click away from the default Linux infotainment system. Main AppIO advantage is that it reduces the time to market and software development costs as entire application base already existing in Android ecosystem can be reused. AppIO framework is interconnecting Android hardware abstraction layers on Android device with drivers and controllers on Linux infotainment device, leaving Android upper layers unchanged so that existing applications can be reused. In our demonstration, Android is running on reference Qualcomm ADP target that is connected to the HMI over USB 3.0, whereas USB Ethernet interface is configured for the communication between ADP and HMI. The ADP target provides all benefits of the Android operating system to the automotive industry. It enables integration of the consumer-style applications into the automotive infotainment system, for example, media, Netflix or IPTV, online navigation like Here We Go, messaging such as Viber, WhatsApp, Facebook. Also, it should be noted that usage of the separate hardware allows effective and independent software updates and also hardware updates in order to meet new market requirements. This concept shows us how user can switch between two different infotainment systems by pressing only one button. The default infotainment system that you can initially see is Linux infotainment system with its own HMI. User can use media player over USB or Bluetooth, internet radio and FM radio as different sources of media reproduction. Navigation application can be used for destination picking and step-by-step -step navigation. TV application is available for viewing terrestrial TV channels. Die Kosten für diese Zeremonien sind extrem hoch. Bei den Toratja sind die Lebenden bereit, sich für die Toten zu verschulden und ihr Leben in deren Dienst zu stellen. As previously mentioned, if user wants to switch to the Android infotainment, this can be done easily by one button press, which is an Android icon on the screen, or by a jog shuttle key. By pressing media button on the left sidebar, user can use Android media player. Android navigation applications, like Here We Go, can be used for step-by-step -step navigation and the GPS input is received from Linux infotainment through AppIO framework that is actually populating GPS data through Android hardware abstraction layer. Therefore, no additional customization of Android framework or Android application is needed. User can also pick his destination by using voice recognition feature, Berlin. where actually the voice from the microphone is transferred through AppIO framework from Linux towards Android and again to Android HAL, avoiding additional modifications of Android framework and end-user applications. All Android applications, such as social media applications, games, camera, internet browser and others are available for the user taking into consideration driver distraction limitations. Driver distraction limitations are mandated by law in some countries and for that reason they need to be considered in the Android infotainment also. 
data from various automotive sensors is transferred from Linux infotainment towards Android through AppIO framework without additional modifications of end-user applications. As previously stated, voice and camera inputs from Linux infotainment are transferred to Android infotainment through AppIO framework. So, as it can be seen here, applications like Viber, Skype, Facebook Messenger can be used in the same way as they are used on the mobile phones. User can send messages, such as text and voice, and make calls. As internet connection from Linux infotainment is shared with Android infotainment, thanks to the AppIO framework and its configuration, user can browse internet by using one of the existing Android browser applications. In order to enable monitoring of vehicle traffic and internal communication traffic, separate encrypted virtual interfaces are implemented for internet and internal communications. Besides the terrestrial television previously mentioned, user on the Android infotainment can use IPTV functionality.